Yo, what's poppin' guys? And welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This one is going back to basics. Uh, if you are familiar with Scratch, this tutorial will probably not help you at all. Uh, this is for the beginners. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, set up a basic movement. Basic 2D bird's eye view movement of a character. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to call it Basic Movement Tutorial. And I'm going to name this cat Player. There we go. So, how do we do this? Come to Events, and just for now, do the when the green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked, in the forever, grab a forever loop from Control, from the Control setting, grab a forever loop, put it right underneath. Inside that forever loop, what you need to grab is an if, if then, and pop that in. Go into Sensing, and do if key. Uh, now you can use WASD or the arrow keys for movement. For the sake of this, I'm going to be using WASD. So let's say we want to move up. Up for with WASD would be W, or use the up arrow. Either way, this will work just fine. If key W pressed, change X, or oops, change Y. The Y axis is up and down. The X axis is back and forth. So if we want to move up, we want to change our Y to a positive number. If, it's, if Y is being changed by a positive number, the cat will go up. If a Y is being changed by a negative number, the cat will go down. So we want it to go up. We'll change Y by 2. So to move up 2 pixels, or uh, 2 units at a time. That sounds very slow, but just, just trust me. Uh, what I just did there is you can right click the if and click duplicate to get the exact same code. Put it right underneath. Now let's make it down. Down for WASD would be S, or you could use the down arrow, either one would work. Now we want to move down, so we'll change the Y axis by a negative number to move the cat down. So negative 2. There we go, now let's test it. Look at that, we have basic up and down movement. You want to change the speed? Sure, just make it bigger, and then make this one smaller to make the speed balanced out, and make it the same. Got it? Alright, cool. Now let's set up horizontal movement. You can go ahead and duplicate that again. Let's say you want to move right, which in this case would be D, if you're using WASD. Otherwise, just use the arrow keys. Now we're not going to use Y because Y is up and down, vertical axis. We want to choose X because X is horizontal axis, left and right. So in this case, the positive to move forward, in this case, or to move right, would be a positive number. Going this way, is a positive number on the x-axis. This is negative. So we want to move right, meaning we want to change it by positive number. So let's change x by 5 units. Duplicate that. And then under d, we want to move left now. Our left in this case would be a, but if you want to use the arrow keys, it's obviously just uh, left arrow. Did I say right before? I meant to say left. So. Now I want to change x on the negative axis to move left. So change that to negative 5. Awesome, let's try it. We have our up and down axis and our left and right axis movements. Now Deku, you might be wondering, how do you move in like both? Like if you want to go a, a diagonal. Don't worry, this code already covers it. If you press W and A at the same time to move this way, it's already got you covered. It's already got all the movement you could ever want covered. Pretty neat, isn't it? Let's cover just a few little extra things. Let's come into these costumes. And how about we make a little character real quick. Just a quick little character. Not, nothing, nothing spectacular. Just a nice little character just for us to look at. And I'll give him four different directions. Here we go. We're going to call this sprite, or this costume, front. If you are unaware of what a costume is, a costume 
is a bit of the sprite that just changes what the sprite looks like. This doesn't make a new sprite, this is just changing what the sprite looks like. You have sprites here, costumes of the sprite here, underneath the costumes tab. You can name it right here. Name this one front, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to duplicate it. Then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get rid of his eyes. I'm going to do this to show that he's moving a direction. That direction, in this case, would be left. So I'm going to name this costume left. Duplicate that, and then just click this flip horizontal to flip it around. We're going to call this right. And one more. We'll duplicate front, I guess. And we'll get rid of his eyes again. There we go. And we'll call this back. So this is when he's moving upwards. We obviously won't see his eyes. Cool. Now that you have all of your four sprites or all of your four costumes for your sprite. Let's show you how to make these work. So, when key W is being pressed, which means we're moving upwards, we want to switch its costume to back, because if we're moving up, he's moving upwards, meaning we won't see his eyes. For S, meaning we're moving down, we would want it to be front. So when he's moving down, we'll be able to see his eyes. For D, or right, we want to choose right obviously. And then for A or left, we want to choose left. Let's take a look and see how that looks. Perfect. Isn't it beautiful? Now, Deku, you might be asking, what about the horizontal movement? It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It does. I, I could agree. So, what do we do about that? Well, Let's try something. Let's come in here and we'll go to our controls and we'll grab another if. We'll come into operators, grab an and. Oh, by the way, right now, this is really all you need if you want basic movements. This is just a little bit of extra graphical stuff. This doesn't change movement at all. So let's come into here and let's say we want to move um, left and up at the same time. Here's how I'll do that. So let's just set set this up. And we'll move his eye upwards a bit. There we go. And then I'll fill that in, that little hole. That's what it'll look like. Maybe. Who knows? Oop, I just realized I changed his like actual thing. <laughs> Oops. Copy left. Move his eye up a bit, maybe. And do that. We'll do this left. We'll, we'll, we'll call this costume left up. Let's duplicate it. Uh, make sure you have the move tool selected. You can't flip otherwise if you don't. Do flip horizontal and we'll call this right up. I'll duplicate left up. We'll take his eye and I'll move it down a bit. Fill in his eyeball. Or fill in that big empty slot. We'll call this one left down. Duplicate it. Select the move tool. Flip horizontal. Call this one right down. There we go. We have all our basics of movements. Now, how do we code these in? I'll show you. Put this if with an and and under operators, then right underneath all the code we already have. Now, once in that, what we're going to do is we're going to test we want to move left and up at the same time. So we'll do if key up, whatever your up is, could be W or could be up, minus W. And what's your left key, whatever your left key is, whether that's left or A, like mine is. If both of these are being pressed at the same time, meaning our movement is going upwards like this, all we need to do is switch our costume to left up because we will be moving left and up. Duplicate that entire thing and do um, D for up and right. Then we'll do right up. Let's do another one. 
we'll do down so that be s would be down for me or it could be down arrow for you or whatever you decided to make it key down and d meaning down right so write down duplicate this one more time make this d and a for your left arrow and do left down let's see if it worked now you see there might be one little bit of a problem if this doesn't work that is because of all these also doing their thing trying to change the costume Okay, here we go. We got our movements, basics, and look at that. He moves his little eye around to initiate that he's going a different direction. Doesn't that look good? I think it looks good. I think it looks nice. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because, um, you know, just some basic stuff. Nothing, ever, not everything, and not every tutorial I make has to be this grand, amazing thing. I can do some basics if I really want to. I'm just going to get a thumbnail right now while I keep talking. Um, but yeah, while you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. That helped me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.